Hello everyone and welcome to the Bet Advisor blog. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. We're going to do this every day for the Doncaster meeting and hopefully every Saturday. Um, I gather that one or two of you guys that pay for my subscription or pay to subscribe to me are, are leaving by the droves because uh, I can't back it up in here. I can't give out a selection. Well, you do right. You do right. But it'll change around and then you, as, as we Bet Advisor you can swap from tips to tips then you can go back. You can come back to me then when the other guy's having a poor run. Um, We'll get there eventually. You see, I've got my pink shirt on today and my, and my lucky tie. So hopefully that'll get us a winner because I need something. Um, I mean, personal-wise, I'm doing quite well. I mean, I know it's no good to you guys, but I had a nice little exact up the other day with uh, Mickey Hammond trained Al Sale at 25 to 1, beating Red Jade, I think it was about 8 to 1. Paid £229 to a quid, and I had it to a tenner, so a nice little payout. But it doesn't do you guys any good. I'm sorry, you know, but we'll get there. As you know, I always go for big price winners, and, and one of these big price winners, and... Uh, we're back in profit, you know. Um, so on to today. Um, I can't believe that going is going to be on the firm side at Doncaster. I'm thinking it's more good, maybe on the softer side of good, with amount of rain. Because I live about 10 miles away as the crow flies. And we've had lots of rain in the last two or three days. Sun's out today. But uh, I'd keep an eye on the going report, see what the jockeys say, see what the times are, make your own mind up. Because some of the races that we're looking at, they are really going dependent. Anyway, so, and, and, and again, there's a lot of non-runners today. And they all say going, so something's changed that weren't expected up there, whether it's you know a bit slower or what, I don't know. But just keep an eye on it. So on to today's race, in the 2 o'clock, a nursery, wide open, as you can imagine. State, of, state they're going, like I say, it's going to play a big part in the outcome. Um, Magic City uh, is the Richard Hughes chosen one from the Anna stable, but I think he throws in so many poor runs for me. I mean, it might be that it's because he's run on soft going those two times he's got beat. But if they go and go soft today anyway, it wouldn't work. And then he's, he's never run over the trip. So it's not one that I'd be wanting to back. Um, and as you see from the form lines of SQ Love, he's a typical Mark Johnson horse. He runs a few poor races, improves a lot, goes back to his poor races, improves again, etc. Et not, they're not horses that you can back. You just get him whether they're having a good race or not. So I always tend to avoid the Mark Johnson horses. I mean, I know I know sometimes I, I miss out on the odd winner, but... Uh, more, there's more bad runners, runners than good runners for the Johnson horses. Um, ghost writing, I, I thought he'd have come on a bit last time out uh, from his debut, but it would have been disappointing last time, so I wouldn't have watched. Jesse's spirit, I don't think it deserves to be favourite on the form it's got so far. It improved with cutting the ground, but it was only a moderate race, and I don't think it should be favourite. Wesley Care flopped last time, and I think that uh, it was because it was soft going. I fancied him. So, you know, if it's not too soft today, it could run a good race, but you don't know. Um, and unless the fitting of blinkers for the first time brings that a lot of improvement to the blue banana, I don't think that form is good enough either. The two least likely to be affected by whatever they're going are, are Wolfgang and Indy Pub, which is where I wish I was, and I bet you wish I was as well, I'm not listening to this rubbish. Uh, and if I were having a bet in the race, which I'm, I, I won't be having a win bet, I might just have a combination exact of those two, just as a bit of fun, a bit of interest, you never know, they're good prices. But it's another better race for me because of all the doubts on the going and what horses handle what. 235, it's another no better race for me. There's not a lot, to, not too much to separate the runners if they all run to the best. But I mean, the form is very, very in and out. Fox Truck Romeo uh, could do no more than win at Hamilton, but it was a weak race and, you know, it could do no more than win, but, uh, you know, it needs to improve. And I think the same applies to Alaskan Bullet, who's going to be one at favourite. He like, you know, like Fox Truck Romeo, they made it all to win his debut, but they weren't strong races. Eureka won a couple, and then form seems to have levelled off a bit now, so I think he'll struggle to give away it all round. Goal set is interesting. Uh, it can be ridden up with pace or, or held up, uh, and if it turns into a tactical race, which it might be today, uh, it, could be, it could be interesting. But if I were having a bet, which I'm not, it would be probably on an artistic duel. Um, form's about the same as the other runners in the race, but I think the step up in six to six furlongs will bring about a bit of improvement. So, you know, if I were having a bet, uh, it would be an artistic duel, but not for me. Sky mistakes. Favourite place for mine is Scarborough, but, uh, so let's see if we can find a winner. Um, it's another race where they're going, they'll play a big part. Uh, but now, there's been a couple of run races run. Uh, we should have an idea of the times and jockey reports to find out how much moisture is in the ground. Uh, and then we know what the going's like. Both Captain Dunn and Bro Group Therapy need the quick, going to be quick, which I don't think it's going to be. Dinkum Diamond, Duchess Dora, don't look good enough, I don't think. Two-year-old Bear behind, has got a lightweight, but... It's two-year-old, uh, maybe not as strong as these. And the races it's running have been weak races, weekly run races. But it's getting a lot of weight, and it might just sneak a place. But I think the winner will be Medicine Man. It's the best form of the race. 
going a little soup because it's just going to be on the soft side, I think, of good. Um, and he's going to be the selection, but it's, it's a free selection because it's too short a price to give out to the members. I don't give out these, you know, three, four, one shots. I like 12 to ones, 20 to ones, 30 to ones, you know, none of these. So I've got one on me, a free one. Many same man, I think, will win that race. 345 race, not a race to get involved with. A lot of old timer jockeys riding. You don't know how fit they are or how straight they are, meaning straight fit wise, obviously, you know. So just want to watch and enjoy, you know. 420 race, another, another race not to get involved with. The form's too up and down, Elton Skelter, and I think the likely favourite, Fallen Idol, showed improvement out of the blue last time by about, about £12. Never shown no sign of it before. Run on the going on that day, run on the kit over the same you know, distance, and it hasn't shown any signs of any improvement. So just to come out, it's just a flash in the pan, maybe. So when it's favourite, you want everything in your favour, and it might do it again, but you don't know. So I would watch that race. 450 risk, and this is more what I like. It's a wide open handicap, big price on offer, you know, that's what I like. Uh, I think it's odd that Kieran Fallon, who rides for Ke Kevin Ryan a lot, has chosen to ride Mawakef uh, instead of the uh, Louis de Pio. And then I think, and then Kevin Ryan's booked Frankie to ride Louis de Pio, so he must fancy that. But but uh, Fallon's riding Mawakef, so I just wonder. She's a star, seemed to improve last time, for step up to seven furlongs, but I don't think that bare form is good enough to win this. Uh, and I think you can say it's about Sea Soldiers form, which, you know, on the face of it, I don't think it's good enough. Course of Distance winner, Johnny Castle, uh, very consistent, but thoroughly exposed, and uh, no secrets from the handicapper, so I think he needs to drop, be dropped a couple of pounds to get back on the track of winning. And I think you can really say it's about Lightning Cloud, another Kevin Ryan, another pan at second string. I think, you know, it's consistent, but it needs to be dropped a bit. White Frost is improving, but seemed to relish the soft underfoot conditions last time. And he won't get that today. Not so soft on the first day. So I think that I'll give that one a wide berth. I've narrowed it down just to three runners that I find out that, that, that I think could win it. But to find out what they are, you need to be a member. So if you're not a member, subscribe. If you're a member, have a look and you'll see what they are. On to 520, a wide open sprint handicap again to get my teeth into. Beat the bell, blinkers on first time, but I think we we'll need to bring about a lot of improvement to win this. Indian Trails, Edgear has been swapped back to blinkers, which it runs well in uh, from the visor. But if you prefers Epsom, Usually, so not for me. And Tim Easterby, I'm sure he'd love to win a race on his local course, uh, but lost in Paris needs to be dropped a few pounds to win. Rocket Rob invariably drops himself out, gets too far behind, and comes with a run. But it'll be a bit of a quick race for him, and I don't think he'll do it. Old Joe said consistent and getting beaten some pretty moderate races. You know, he might get a place, but not for me. Picabo, Lucy Warden Philly, uh, she's been improving all season, but she needs to improve by about another seven pound. And she's a filly, which, you know, doesn't always work out with fillies, you know. But I've narrowed it down to just three runners, that again, that I think that will win this. But once again, um, you need to put your hands in your pocket and subscribe. And if you remember, just have a look, you'll know where they are. See you tomorrow. Good luck, guys.